Hi, it's Nina. Happy August. <laughs> it's been um, <clears throat> been a while since I made a video. I've been out and about for vacation with my family. And um, yeah, it's been very, a lot of energies, of course, um, coming to the planet that I have been integrating and um, acclimating into my body. And it's been uh, kind of throwing me off a little bit. It's been... I've been very tired and had um, uh, lots of emotions and a lot of it also triggered a lot of um, stuff that needed to come up and and be loved and released so that's kind of why I've been away for a long time and um, just haven't had the energy or uh, the time or the possibilities to share so much so um, <clears throat> that's why I've been it's been very quiet on my part um, I feel a little bit better now, uh, enough energy at least to make a video today. So, uh, and there was just something I wanted to address because it's been, uh, many people who have been talking about this and, and asking questions. Also people I meet who are, you know, following different people online and stuff and they all ask, but what is the truth? You know, because there's so much information out there people have all sorts of different views on what's the truth or not so from what i have experienced and um the way i see things and uh, that is from the higher self perspective uh, the human self perspective doesn't always see those things because <clears throat> the ego of course is um kind of <laughs> trying to run the show so anyways but from from the higher perspective okay my truth at least the way i see it the way i've experienced it the way that it explains everything for me <clears throat> as a human um but my higher self sees it bear with me here i know i'm rambling a little bit but of course okay two things everything is energy and intention okay energy and intention let me explain that okay energy is frequency or it's a vibration we vibrate uh, on different levels we call it frequency in that energy within the energy is light so some people call it the light um it's also information all the information about everything is within the energy within the light and also the life force so some people just call it life force or the force um so this energy is in everything that exists it is it sprung out of source and then it got created into other things but all the things that has been created uh being it human beings animals planets uh, stars whatever consists of the same original energy okay so that means that everything that consists of the same energy is also connected together which again means that everything and everyone is one right so we connect with the energy that's living inside of our bodies which is the soul then through the higher self and upwards if you will uh, we connect to source or we connect to everything else because everything is connected through energy or light if you want to call it that so that means that you can reach information about anything anybody um, everything through that grid of energy so um the other thing is intention because what steers where you go with your energy is your intention and in intention uh, we can say that it's choice we can say that it's um uh conscious focus is another word um 
I just made some notes there, so that's why I'm looking down every here and there. Uh, so we are all consciousness that has separated from the source to experience, to experience anything we want. So um, you have intention, choice, focus as uh, a, a, an energy, as a soul, as a higher self, to what you want to play in, to what you want to experience. That's why you came to the planet, because you want to experience something. So you choose what you want to play in. And what happens is that you vibrate at a certain frequency, okay? And when you vibrate at a certain frequency, you send that vibration out, and if there is something out there that is vibrating on the same frequency, it will come back to you. It will resonate and come back. And so what's happening to you is not happening because something is coming from the outside happening to you. You are actually sending out a vibration and it resonates with something out there and you are pulling that in as an experience. <clears throat> so... Um, and, and no, no frequency or no vibration is wrong or right. That's the, the, the ego mind, the, the duality, uh, aspect of the human mind that is judging what's right or wrong. There's nothing right or nothing wrong. It's just an intention to play in a certain energy, to experience something. Okay. And it's all done by choice, by intention. Um, I intend to learn something about mathematics. I intend to learn something about cars. I intend to learn something or experience grief. I intend to experience great love. I intend to experience how to be a mother. All these things are choices, intentions, okay? So, let me just check with my notes a little bit here before I continue. Uh, so, so yeah, so what's happening is that you are um, not with the ego mind conscious, but with your higher self conscious, conscious, consciously choosing your experience, choosing what happens to you, choosing your truth. So you can actually say that all, everyone, uh, when they say that this is the truth, are correct because it's their truth because that's what they have chosen to play in that's the vibration they are sending out and what they are re then receiving coming into them and that's the truth for them because that's what they created because what that's what they have the inten intention to experience so no truths are wrong in that sense, right? Um, checking my notes again. Sorry. <laughs> it's just, I just needed to get this off my chest today. Uh, so, so all stories and experiences are truth for the one, for the consciousness that chose to experience it. Um, so, what did I write here? Wrong glasses. Yeah. So, yeah. Of course. So, so this is actually the true essence of the law of attraction, right? Because you, you, you create your own experience. And so what you send out, where you resonate is what you are pulling into you. And that's a law of attraction. And so, um, but you can, along your, your lifespan, you can of course choose to resonate in a different place. You learn new things. You, you awaken more to your own truth. You, you, you all of a sudden figure, no, you know, I, I've experienced not of that. Now I want to experience this. And you change kind of your vibration, right? To vibrate so that you can pull another thing in instead. Um, and that's the law of attraction. And that's also why, for instance, when you play with uh, tarot cards or angel cards or divination cards or probably any other divination um tool that you might like to play with uh, that's the law of attraction because it's it's the energy that you the vibration that you are sending into for instance the cards 
will make sure that you get back where you vibrate. So that means that if you have trouble connecting with your higher self or just want to play with cards, it's a great way to, to get insight because it will always give back to you where you resonate. Your ego mind might not like what they see, you know, for instance, if you play with tarot cards or whatever, uh, but it is where you resonate. Uh, it is very where you vibrate. So I hope that makes sense. Um, <laughs> it was just something that came to me today that I just really needed to get out there. Um, just remember, everything is energy and intention. Um, and everything um, vibrates at a frequency. And we can be all over the the scale of the frequency just during one day. You know, you can... You can vibrate what you call low or high, but it's not really low as in bad or good. Um, but you change the frequency and so you pull stuff towards you. The only thing I can say about low and high frequency is that when it comes to the physical world is that lower frequency is a harder object. It's more dense and, and uh, higher frequency is, is, of course, light. It's not that dense. Uh, so, so because everything is energy, everything is frequency also with everything that's been created. So a rock will, of course, have a kind of a lower vibrational feeling to it than maybe a feather. Just, you know, as an example. So anyway, I, that was the only thing I wanted to just address uh, today. So, so I'll, I'll post it up there and there will probably be some more stuff coming out. But that was just something I just needed to get off my chest today. Okay. Energy and intention. Okay, there you go. So I'll I'll I could, I'll probably go deeper into this uh, later on when when I when I'm there when I have the energy to. So okay, guys. Uh, thanks for listening. If you did, uh, I hope this resonates. And if not, then take what resonates and leaves the rest. You know, it's your truth. Uh, you create what you believe, and that's it. Okay. Have a great day out there. Bye.